draw APGC's logo. No, okay. Oh, you really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to 707 Squadron. My name is MB4 Poa. Prior to 1995, ABS Squadron was named Raw Logistics Squadron, GLS. We are focusing on catering operation, transport and supplies. In 2011 October, ISF decided to transform the contract management office GLO into an operational squadron which is called Air-Based Sustainment Squadron. The roles and the function that ABS Squadron perform requires dedication to be focused on the ops readiness and mindedness of our personnel. I shall now hand over to my colleagues, Sir Sergeant Rupin, to introduce to you the squadron logo. Hi, I'm Sir Sergeant Rupin. I'm a Supply Supervisor at 707 Squadron. I'm here to tell you a bit about the Squadron logo. To begin with, the bayonet and the gears represent the Squadron's uh, ground logistics arm. The snake represents the medical flight. The wings symbolise that it's an Air Force unit. And the fist symbolises that this is a unit in Pi Labour Air Base. The shades of grey, going from dark grey to light grey, represents that our unit is a 24-7 unit. And lastly, our squadron motto is resilient and responsive. I'm now going to pass the time over to my colleague, Chun Yen. Hi, Chun Yen. Are you free to show them around the medical center? Sure, Rupin. Hi, I'm Chun Yen, a combat medic from 707 Squadron. Let me show you around the medical center. So first, here we have our registration point where patients will scan their 11 Bs to register themselves into the system. So this is the reception area where when patients walk in and register themselves, they will then speak to medics on the station who will man this station during office hours. The patients will ask the medics to help them to register health screening programs, medical reviews, or simply to tell them their symptoms for reporting sick. The medics will then direct to the relevant stations or simply to sit at the waiting area to wait to be seen in the consultation rooms by the MOs. So this is our resuscitation room where patients who are seriously ill will come and be attended to by the duty medics that day. We have the state-of-the-art Nihon Koden defibrillator as well as emergency drugs all prepared and ready to be administered by the medics on duty that day. Next is our dispensary where our medics will prepare medications for our patients after the MOs order them in their consultation rooms. So when medics prepare the medications, they will always make sure to check things are not limited to but including the identification of the patient, the expiry date, batch numbers and quantity of the medication so as to ensure that there are no errors made in dispensing medication to the patients. Our squadron mission is actually to achieve effective and efficient ground logistics and medical operations to sustain the airbase. So this contributes to the greater RSAF mission of mission success, safety always, people at heart because the medical centre really exists to look after the people of the RSAF. Uh, to look after their well-being, all the medical needs and this helps to ensure that, for example, our air crew are always fit to fly so that they can safeguard our skies. Last but not least, let me pass the time over to Haravin, who is in the ambulance bay, who will share more with you. Hey Haravin, do you have some time to share with our audience what you do as an ambulance transport operator? Sure. Hi. I'm Lance Kompar Haravin. I'm a transport operator in 707 Squadron and part of my role is to mount duty together with the medic and MO for standby for medical emergencies. As a transport operator in 707, I will start off my day at start of day brief. After my start of day brief, we will check each vehicle and service operation. After checking vehicles and service operation, I will actually meet on my flight lead and we will plan the duties for the week for our duty roster. On a typical day, if I'm on duty, I will actually be staying over to the next day and helping out with medics and doctors in case there's any form of e-case or emergency case. As an emergency case can happen at any point in the day, as transport operators and ambulance op uh, transport operators, we must always be operationally ready for any form of situation. Hi, Ms. Chan. Hi. Can you tell us more about Kukau's Dine at 7? Sure. Hi, welcome to Palibaku House, also known as Dine at 7. I am Info. I'm a friendly of the catering fight. Let me show you our operation in our co-house. Let's go. Over here is a bathing area. Personal, after scan their 11B, they will come over here and collect their food. We have four types of menu. Menu A, Menu B, Special Diet and Vegetarian. Personal, after collected their food, they will go over the dining hall and consume their milk. 
We pack more than 1,000 meal per day and send out to various units in Paliba Abyss. Our dine at 7 was renovated in 2020. The catering operation has been more efficient now. The placement and orientation of equipment are designed to enhance our workflow from cooking to packing to this food warmer when the diner can now collect from the other side. Okay, Come can you write down, we start with a simple one, your squadron's motto. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next question. Can China. you tell me how many CEOs have your head in 707? Five. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> Michan knows. Uh, Michan knows. You are APGC's logo. No, can I? Oh, you mean? I mean. Michan, how are you? Michan, enjoy your food. You got me news, Rana. Excellent! Oh my god! Is <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us to watch this episode of Welcome to My Squadron, 707 Squadron. See you next time. Bye! Bye.